Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, I will explain about statements and mathematical expression in Python programming language. Let's start. Assignment statement. What is assignment statement? A statement that assign a value to a variable is called assignment statement. For example, variable name, how you will write the syntax? Variable name equal to value and expression. For example, a equal to 5. Now 5 is the value and always right side will evaluate and will assign to be left side. And a equal to a plus 1 is in expression. What is expression? In expression is the combination of values, variables and operator. The evaluation of an expression produce a value. For example, result equal to a power 2 plus b raised power 2. So in this case, they will first we will solve the right side. Right side is right side contains a mathematical expression. First we will solve this mathematical expression and then the value is to be assigned to the left side. That is result. Operators and operands. Operators are special symbols that represent computation like addition, subtraction, etc. Operands are the values that operator compute. For example, A plus B. A is operand and B is also operand. Types of operations. We have mathematical operations and logical expression. And today I will cover mathematical operation. In next lecture, I will cover logical expression. Operator precedence. When more than one operator appears, in an expression, the order of the evaluation depends on the rule of precedence. Okay, what is the rule of precedence? First of all, we will solve parenthesis. Second, we will solve exponential. Third, we will solve multiplication and division have the same hierarchy, which comes first from left side. Then we will solve that one first. Addition and subtraction have the same hierarchy and we will solve that will come first from left side. One example is this. Suppose I have written result 1 equal to 15 plus 2 plus 20 minus 4 div divided by bracket 3 minus 1 times 4 raised power 2. First of all, we will solve these parentheses. If we will solve the parentheses, 15 plus 2, 17 and 3 minus 1, 2. After parentheses, we will solve 4 raised power 2. Double asterisk means this is the power. 17 plus 20 minus 4 divided by 2 times 16. After exponential, we will solve the VN. 17 plus 20, 4 divided by 2, answer is 2. Now 2 times 16. After the VN, we will solve 2 times mean multiplication. 17 plus 20 minus 32. After multiplication, solve the plus sign because plus and minus have the same hierarchy but which symbol will come first from the left side we will solve solve first 37 minus 32 after addition result equal to 5 second example 15 plus 2 to, uh, plus 20 okay and here i have enclosed in parenthesis minus 6 divided divide by 3 minus 1 time 4 time 4 raised power 2 what we will solve first we will solve the inner bracket inner parenthesis after parenthesis 15 plus 2 7, uh, 17 now 17 plus 20 now we will solve the next parenthesis 30, 20 plus uh, 17 is 37 minus 6 divisible by 3 minus 1 times 4 is power 2 after this we will solve the power 4 times 2 4 is power 2 16 after exponential we will solve multiplication and division but which will come the first first is coming from left side division now 6 divided by 3 answer is 2 minus 1 times 16 after division multiplication okay 37 minus 2 minus 16 after multiplication 30 minus because minus uh, minus both are the minus okay we will solve first from the left side 37 minus 2 35, 35 minus 16, result is 19. I have, I have copied same expression from the slide and then I have uh, pasted it into the, this editor. Now I want to run it and I want to check the result. 
result is 5.0 what is the result is same result result 1 is the same 5 result result 1 is 5 and if you want to write second result i am copying the second result this is result 2 i am copying this control c and control v after here i will write this is result 2 okay result 2 when i will run this first result 1 is 5.0 and second result 2 is 19. Point 19.0, 19, 5 and 19. And we have evaluated the same result. Result 2 is 19, result 1 is 5. Next, we will write a program in Python to read the marks of three subjects and calculate the sum and average marks of these subjects and display it on the output screen. Subject 1 is integer, subject 2, subject 2 is also integer. Subject 3 is also integer or need total. Total should be integer. Average should be float because average maybe can contain the pointing value, point value. Okay, here, here I will uh, ask enter the marks in subject 1, subject 1, subject 1 equal to E value because I want to use a number. I want to use as a number value not as a text integer enter the value enter the marks enter the marks of subject 1 enter the marks of subject 1 equal to subject 2 marks i will copy the same control c control v control v how many subjects are there three subjects are there here i will take it subject 2 subject 3 subject 2 marks second subject marks third subject marks now I will, I will add it into total. Total equal to, now I am writing a mathematical expression. What is the expression? I will write here subject 1 plus subject 2 plus subject 3. Subject 3. They will add all the values and store into the variable total. Now after this I will calculate average equal to total divided by 3 because there are three three subjects oh okay now you want to write print total marks total marks equal to in total marks variable total okay and average marks print average marks average marks equal to now i want to run the program enter the marks of first subject 65 87 85 now total marks equal to 237 and average marks is 79.00 thank you students and if you like my video please subscribe my channel